Greetings and salutations, and thank you for clicking on the video. I do appreciate it. This one is going to be a bit of a rant, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it doesn't come across too negative, but there are some things that I would like to address. And first of all, let me give you a little bit of background. Over the last week or so, we've been looking at Ubuntu GNOME, posted a couple of videos up here on YouTube about how cool I thought it was. Also, I've posted some things here on the Easy Linux Facebook page, which is what we're looking at now. Yesterday afternoon, I had a problem pop up with the audio, and that was this little nagging issue that's actually been kind of raising its ugly head recently, where when I'm playing back a YouTube video, it will sound like the audio is skipping. And yesterday, I decided I would give compiling and installing the drivers from the Realtek website for the Realtek audio card that's in this machine a shot. And you guessed it, because Realtek does not package their drivers up in nice little Deb and RPM packages. No, they don't do that. They post a tarball, which means that if you want to do that, you're going to have to compile it yourself. I always tell folks out there in the community to avoid doing that unless they absolutely have to, because nine times out of ten, it doesn't work. Well, guess what? Yesterday, it doesn't work, and I end up with a computer that has no sound at all. Well, that's no big deal because I was running Ubuntu 16.10 in testing mode anyway, and all I had to do was swap in my trusty Linux Mint hard drives, sync all the data that I had created while I was running Ubuntu GNOME back so everything was kosher, and boom, we're back in business. And I do that a lot with certain distros where I'm testing them and looking at them. I'll go ahead and install them on the machine and copy all the data in and actually use it for a couple of days and give you guys my opinions on that. But I usually keep my original install around, so if it doesn't work or I just want to go back to it, I'll go back to Linux Mint. So I'm sure that about 98% of the people out there realize that I'm doing this because I want to show you guys what's going on. There are literally hundreds of Linux distros. There's tons of desktops out there. And one of the things that I get from people in the community all the time is that they want me to look at this distro or that distro. I mean, go through the comments on any video that I've posted and you will see where somebody says, have you looked at this? Have you used this? Have you tried that? And I don't try out every distro I see. There are people on YouTube that's all they do. I mean, there are channels on YouTube where they just load up distributions into a virtual machine and they make a 10 minute video and show you a little bit about it and that's it. I don't do that because, I mean, that's just kind of cheap if you ask me. I actually use these things or test them. Sometimes I load them up in a virtual machine and do that. And I don't do distribution reviews. I take a look at different distros that people ask me to look at or I become interested in. That doesn't mean that I'm going to sit down and research the thing and tell you everything there is to know about it. I'm going to load it up and I'm going to experience it the same way you would experience it if you were using it. And some people take umbrage to that as well. They're like, well, uh, you didn't do your research and I do miss things. And it's just, but that's the nature of the thing. Okay. There are so many of these distros out here and if it was just me and I wasn't doing videos and I wasn't doing all this, I can tell you exactly the Linux distro that I would be using. And that is Linux Mint, either 17.3 or 18. This works the best on the widest variety of hardware. I have three systems up and running in my house at all times. And that entire network, the main system is Linux Mint because it works the best on what I, for what I use it for and on the hardware that I have. So I have found the distro that works for me. I look at distros for you guys. But there is a small element out there in the community that doesn't get that. Now I'm going to show you the comment that I got this morning on Facebook. This fellow posted twice on Facebook. The first time around, he posted, you have a mental problem on one of the comments that I had made about Ubuntu GNOME 16.10. And then he posted again, 
Second time, you, I, and I put, second time you've posted that, could you please explain why I have a problem? His answer was, you are a notorious distro hopper. Newcomers to Linux look up to people like you and follow all your advice. So they tend to shift distros as you do, which in turn leaves them more confused. I am not telling anybody to shift distros. I'm looking at distros and giving you my opinion on it. If you want to try it out yourself, you go right ahead. But I, at no point am I saying dump what works for you to move on to something else. Uh, there are so many distros in the community. It is unbelievable. So my response down here, I thought I was pretty nice about the whole deal. And, you know, I just basically said there's a lot of different DEs and a lot of different distros. Why not try them out? I mean, I have a bunch of hard drives. I swap things in and out. I try things in VMs every now and again. And it's weird because most people get it, but there is this faction of folks out there who, who don't get it. And so what is your opinion on this? You have the feedback down at the bottom of this video that you can tell me what you think. Should we do distro reviews on this channel? Do you think that there is a way that I can do them better? Because my attitude on it has always been, I'm just going to play with this thing. I'm going to let you guys see what I find. I mean, if I took, I mean, it would be like, I mean, if this is what I did for a living, where I would block out two weeks to learn the ins and outs and the upside downs of Linux distros, I think I would go crazy. I think if that's all I did was once every week or two post another video showing another Linux distribution, I'd get real bored with that real fast. I mean, this channel is more about helping people get started, and uh, part of that is taking a look at what's out there. So what do you think about this? What is your opinion? Let me know. You can leave your feedback uh, on the Facebook page, or you can leave your feedback in the comments to this video. I'd like to hear what you've got to say, because, uh, like I said, most people get it, and that's fine, but some people don't. What's your opinion on this? Um, thanks for watching. Do check out Easy Linux on Facebook. Check out Easy Linux on the web. Check out Easy Linux uh, articles from me, Easy Linux on freedompenguin.com and where you'll probably hear about a lot of other different distros as well <laughs> i just i just wanted to put that out there gang thanks for watching